Hi, you guys. This is Prophetess of Phil Sabrina Acapo and wanted to give you a prophetic word that the Holy Spirit spoke into my spirit on today. And as with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. So you guys, the time was actually 5.55. And the Lord gave me Isaiah 55 and 5. And Holy Spirit, I call you in to speak through me. I decrease as you increase. I join my spirit in with the Holy Spirit. I place my hands in your hands and I submit my will totally and completely back to your will, asking you to intervene and let your will be done and speak through me. Place the oil of your anointing, your glory, your power, your grace, and your mercy upon me where I can bring forth this word, telling your story so your name can be glorified in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. If you see me looking down, you'll see me looking down at my other phone or you'll see me looking down at my notes. So I do apologize about that. So you guys. In the scripture, Isaiah 55 and 5 reads, in fact, you, Israel, will call a nation that you do not know and a nation that does not know you will run to you because of the Lord, your God, even the Holy one of Israel. For he has glorified you. So the Lord's light is shining through you and what was not recognized before the Lord is saying it will be no more. The Lord's beauty Favor in his splendor is upon you. And this is causing others through Christ to bless you. Holy Spirit is also saying, because of the Lord's grace upon your life, it is causing others to be drawn to you, even to take refuge in you. The Holy Spirit is further saying his honor. It's upon your life causing other nations to run to you and where you were not selected before. You are about to be called upon. You are about to be called upon. Isaiah 49 and 6. He says, it is not enough for you to be my servant. To raise. up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the protected ones of Israel. I will also make you a light for the nations to bring my salvation to the ends of the earth. So the Lord wants you to have more than enough. He does not just want you be, to be his servant, but he's want you to be served by his grace and by his mercy, by his glory, by his power. The Lord is wanting you to have abundance. In Ephesians 3 and 20, life in abundance to the full until it overflows in every aspect and area of your life. The Lord has made you that beacon of light and he has beautified, glorified, glorified, excuse that. He has beautified, he has glorified, and he has honored you and you are being noticed. Where you were not known prior or chosen before, you are about to be first picked, even hand picked. And this is the Lord touching the hearts of others, even other nations to seek after you. 2 Samuel 22 and 44. You have delivered me from the strife of my people. You have preserved me as the head of nations. A people I had not known shall serve me. You have found favor in the sight of men. As a result, others are looking for you. 
So your life as you know it, previously, even before, it's about to change. Tremendously. Drastically. Rapidly. You are even being summoned and sought after the Lord's beauty is upon thee in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I wanted to provide a today's prayer scripture, you know, trying to add something different to the mix to keep you guys engaged in this family and to keep things afloat by the special grace and mercy of God. So the Lord gave me the scripture of Psalms 98. I'm sorry. The Lord gave me the scripture of Psalms chapter 9, verse 8. <laughs> he will judge the world with justice and rule the nations with fairness. He will judge the world with justice and rule the nations with fairness. God is, don't you see God is doing a reversal of that thing and changing and rearranging that thing and shifting that thing and doing a 360 degree turnaround in every aspect and area of our lives. And for us to enjoy our lives, he's beautifying us. He's honoring us. It can't get any better than it. People are being drawn to us. We have his grace and unmerited favor upon every aspect and area of our lives. Manifestation and fruition is taking place. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm excited about this word, you guys. And I wanted to give some shout outs because I've been saying it for the last past couple of days, but I was like, no, today is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. And I got to get these shout outs. And it's Shar, Shannon, Anita, Robert, Brittany, Cassetta, David, Chrissy, Helen, and Rose. God bless you guys richly. Thank you for all that you do. Know that the Lord is favoring you and the Lord's beauty is upon you as well as his grace and once again, unmerited favor. Shout out to all the new subscribers putting your um, state in the comments. You guys, Make sure you definitely do that so you can be recognized. I'm seeing from North Carolina, from Alabama, from New York, just all around. And I'm excited and so happy to have you guys hit, be here and be a part of it. And I want to also motivate you to motivate someone else and spread some love. Because you never know what a person is going through. So definitely spread some love to one of your fans. As well as knowing that, yes, you can. You can do all things through Jesus Christ who gives you strength. Knowing that all things work together for the good of those who love God and to those who are called according to the purpose of the Lord. Knowing as well that you are superstars with this family right here. You are superstars. The Lord sees you for who you are. And know that you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people that have been called out of darkness and to his marvelous light. Know that the Lord's beauty is upon you. And nations are seeking after you. Thus said the spirit of the living God. Don't forget to focus on today's prayer. Trying some new things. It's about changing and rearranging. It's about shifting. It's about a 360 degree turnaround. I'm being obedient, walking in what the Lord would have me to walk into. So I'm sharing with my fam. 
the beauty of the Lord. He said he maketh thee rich and addeth no sorrow. He will judge the world with justice and rule the nations with fairness. Psalms 9 and 8. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And welcome, 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 welcome to all of my new subscribers. You guys, welcome to the fam. I pray that this word has enlightened, encouraged, and excited your life in such a phenomenal way on today. I know it brought so much joy to my spirit, so much happiness and adoration to my spirit. I definitely can feel the fire on this word. I definitely motivated myself with this word because it gave me some knowing that people are noticing. People see you. The ones who you think don't see you, they're noticing you. They're beginning to see you for who you truly are. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And don't forget to hit that noti bell where you guys can be notified each time I upload a video. I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Until the next one. I was actually going to go in a different route, but God took me this route. He's going to do it in alignment, decent, and in order with the assignment that he has for you. So... I'm moving with my daddy. And I will definitely be back with another one. Once again, I love you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys until the next one. We will talk in just a little bit. May the Lord richly bless each and every one of you. Take care. Bye-bye.